Hey guys, Toast here, and welcome to this week's episode of The Slice. This is a weekly series where I pick through the past week's gaming news and provide my opinions on the ones I think are most interesting. Let's jump right into this week. First off, let's take care of the major launch of this week, and that is, of course, Overwatch. This is Blizzard's objective-based first-person shooter with MOBA elements. The game features teams of 6 vs 6 in game modes that incorporate elements of Domination, King of the Hill, and Escort. In addition to the game releasing this week, Jeff Kaplan, one of the game designers at Blizzard, confirmed that a ranked mode will be making its way into the game in June. That should be a great opportunity for those who are interested in a more competitive and esports style of play to get their share while allowing other players to still enjoy the non-ranked playlist. In case you can't tell from the recent releases on my channel, I love this game. I've been having an amazing time with it so far and you can definitely expect to see more content from me coming up. Overwatch released on Tuesday, May 24th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Also out this week is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. This open world adventure game was created by Platinum Games and published by Activision. Stylistically, the game follows the popularized trend of cel-shaded graphics, a well-known staple of Gearbox Software's Borderlands series. All four of the well-known turtles are playable in the game, and fan-favorite characters like Splinter, Shredder, Bebop, and Rocksteady all appear in the game in some capacity. As a Turtles fan since practically birth, I'm actually intrigued by this game. I'm going to wait for more reviews to come out first before making any purchasing decisions, but the game is definitely on my radar. The game also released on Tuesday, May 24th on PC, PS4, Xbox One, PS3, and Xbox 360. E3, the industry-only trade show, has announced its first-ever public event for this year's upcoming show, June 14th to 16th. The public event is going to take place at LA Live Complex, right next door to the main convention, which takes place at the LA Convention Center. The ticketed event will consist of playable games, live entertainment, industry personality meetups, and exclusive merchandise for sale. Unfortunately, there's not been any confirmation of exactly what games will be there in a playable form, however tickets are available on a first-come, first-served basis on E3's website. If you live in the LA area, this seems to be a worthwhile endeavor, however those who have attended public conventions like PAX East or PAX Prime likely won't see too much that they will not have already seen. In other news, Rockstar announced its newest and largest expansion for the popular GTA Online component of GTA V called Further Adventures in Finance and Felony. The expansion enables players to become the CEO of their own criminal enterprise. This will include buying and selling contraband, while also having to fight off competition from the rest of the criminal underworld, and of course avoiding attention from the cops. Players will have a new headquarters in a high-rise building and warehouses scattered throughout Los Santos where operations will take place. The expansion promises to offer some of the largest profits in the online component and some of the rarest items as well. The expansion is due to release on June 7th on Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. But that's going to do it for this week's episode of The Slice. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the past week's gaming news and if you think I missed anything important. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Toast, and I'll talk to you soon.